Greetings everyone, Mama Goddess here, and welcome back to my channel. This is Mama Goddess's Space. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of your spiritual journey. This message is for the sign of Pisces. So if you have Pisces as your sun sign, or, a, or <laughs> if Pisces is anywhere in your chart, Words are wording already. <laughs> if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this message is for you. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Spirit, what message do you have for Pisces? The nine of coins keeps showing itself. Let's see what that is about. We have the Eight of Knives, the Eight of Baskets, the Four of Coins, Seven of Coins. Okay, okay. And the Devil card showed up. Let's see what's going on with that. You have the Eight of Knives to start off. Um, sometimes the Eight of Knives talks about that stuck energy. Well, let's see what we're talking about when we talk about being stuck. I feel like this is going to be some sort of relationship, financial reading. So if this resonates with you, take it how it resonates. But if it doesn't resonate, this may be for someone else. So again, just take it how it resonates. All right, let's see what we got going on here for you. All right, like I said, you have the Eight of Knives. Eight represents action, accomplishment, and movement, and Knives represents thoughts and ideas. Like I said, there's some stuck energy here where you're feeling like you can't move one way or another, or there's something holding you back that's um, causing you to take pause. And um, <sighs> Pisces, uh, I don't know. I don't think this is a, a good move for you. Um, you have the Eight of Baskets. Eight represents, again, action, accomplishment, and movement. And Baskets represents the matters of the heart, feelings, and emotions. And what this card typically talks about is you walking away from something. Um, whether it's a relationship, because it did come up in hearts or in... Uh, baskets and baskets do represent the matters of the heart. So whether it's in relationship, I feel like you are in a relationship that you really don't want to be in, but you feel like you have no choice because maybe you can't move on because of financial reasons, or maybe you're in a friendship, or maybe you all are, um, feel like you can't leave the situation because there's finances um, involved so it's like I'm feel like I really can't move or can't do anything because I don't have the money to do so because this comes up in the four of coins four represents grounding manifestation and stability and coins represents again finances and security and it's really given like I can't I can't really do anything because I don't have the money to do so. I want to move out, but I don't have the money. I want to uh, move out of the city, but I don't have the money. I, like, it's always I don't have, I don't have. And Spirit is um, letting you know that you will have the money, but if you keep manifesting that you don't have, then guess what? You won't have. And this is where this devil card comes up. You keep manifesting that you don't, then you won't. It's time to change some things up, but let's go ahead and clarify this with my Oracle deck. I feel like, too, um, Pisces, you have a lot of regrets. Like, you should not have even gotten to this relationship or situationship in the first place. So, I feel like you're beating yourself over the head with that. But Spirit wants you to not do so, because um, you have this card that says Submission. Spirit wants you to submit to your higher self, Pisces. It's it's very it's giving low vi low vibrational, and Spirit wants you to elevate your mind. 
connect with your higher self. And I know right now it seems like it's easier said for me to say and um, than it is for you to do. But um, focus, focus your mind, okay? Get out of that stinking thinking. I feel like you're, um, you're focused on the wrong thing right now. The thing that you should be focusing on, this card popped out here, is it says, ignite your passions with Garnet. Ignite your passions. You also have the seven of coins. Seven represents self-reflection, self-assessment, and control. And coins represents finances and security. There, there are other things that you should be worried about right now than to put all your time, focus, and energy into your current circumstances there are still things that you can do to make your situation a little bit easier and those things that you can be doing right now is focusing on your money focusing on those passions those um gifts that you have pisces okay focus on those gifts you are an intuitive pisces your ruling planet is neptune which is all about um yeah, intuition, imagination, dreamy um, type energy, um, spiritual type energy, um, Pisces. And I need you to connect with that and connect with what you want to do um, for yourself in your life. You have this uh, judgment card. This is the, in the traditional deck, this is the judgment card. But in my hoodoo deck, it shows up as them bones. Them bones says, you're focusing on the wrong thing, Pisces. I know, I know, I know your current circumstances is in your face. And it's like, I need to do something about this. But the thing is, when you put the, those focuses and energies in you, it'll clear up space for you to... Uh, change your mind as far as this whole situation is concerned because you're only looking at it in one way and spirit wants you to expand your mind past what you see okay let's pull another card to clarify you have this summer card that says I radiate light the spirit wants you to change your mind Take the time to learn a new skill, to learn a new trade in this time, Pisces. Yeah, you have this uh, card that says first quarter moon. It says, I am taking action towards my dreams. Again, this is what this other card was talking about when it says ignite your passions. Do what you want to do. Go towards your dreams. Go towards the things that you always said you wanted to do. Your current circumstances does not define you. Your current circumstances don't say that you can't do anything. Your, circum your current circumstances is a, is a distraction. Don't let it distract you from what you want to do, from what you want to be. You, you're very, uh, you're very creative. The spirit wants you to let your light shine. Like I said, with this summer card, it says here, I am radiating my light. With the summer card. I am radiating my light. Let your light shine even in the darkest of times or what you may feel like is the darkest of times because really, it's, 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 things are as bad as you say they are. Things are as bad as you say they are. So if you feel like you're stuck, if you feel like you're in a rut, it's because you put yourself there with the power of your words. You have this seven card that says, I create, I create boundaries and structure. Saturn is all about structure. It's all about um, getting things in order. It's all about responsibility. And this is what you need to do for yourself, Pisces. Have some structure, have some boundaries when it comes to your, your current circumstances and your situation. Don't put all your time and focus and energy into the wrong thing. You're worried about the wrong thing. Things are going to work out for you. You just have to stay the course, stay focused, okay? Yeah. Wind path, uh, winding paths, curving tail, twisting roots, uh, mendering messages, uh, mendering passages. Pisces, 
you're on the path that you're on is where you're supposed to be right now okay this says winding path you can you can navigate through all of this that what, what you have going on pisces it's not the end of the world i promise you again it can feel like that because everything is just so overwhelming and there's so much and it's so this and it's so that but you're fine you're fine trust me this card that says here I transform through my shadow with this Pluto card. Pluto is all about transformation. And right now, Pisces, it's time for you to transform into who and what God has called you to be. Okay? Go ahead and pull for my other oracle deck. Because what you don't want to have, Pisces, is any regrets. You don't want to have any regrets of the woulda, coulda, shoulda, and I should have done this, and I should have done that, and I waited too long for this. And if I wouldn't have done this with this person, then I wouldn't be in this situation right now. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Pisces, come up, come up from among them. Okay? Be ye separated. Okay? <laughs> Tap in. Tap into your higher self. Tap into what you have called, to what spirit has called you to be. And listen, this is only a transition. This is only a transition. But you don't have to feel down about it. Everything has to change. Change happens. And you know that things will get better for you soon. You have this card that says soon. I'm going to read the, the book on that in a little bit. But you also have this card that says, remember your worth. A lot of times, Pisces, when things um, seemingly catastrophic happen for you, you start to beat yourself up. You start to feel like you're not worthy. You start to feel like, um, I don't deserve good things. But Spirit is like, mm -mm, cut that out. Cut that out. You're worthy of everything good that you want to have in your life. But if you keep telling yourself that you're not worthy and that you don't deserve, then guess what? That that energy that you put out there is going to come back to you. And you're going to manifest worthlessness. You're going to manifest depression. You're going to manifest sadness. You're going to manifest self, low self-esteem. When you're supposed to be confident, self-confident. Okay? Reframe your mind. It's time to change some things up. So I want to talk about this soon card here. Soon, let's see, that's number five. It says, part of you may be feeling impatient. You may want everything to unfold here and now. You may have been, you may have difficulty waiting. You may feel you are missing something important, like you are in a race against time. Accept the pace of this outer synchronicities. These can happen through unexpected events. I send you signs in the morning to help you channel your energies because they flow so quickly. Everything is too quick. To connect with me, which means your higher self, take time each morning for deep breathing. This will help you hear my messages and my counsel. Be patient. Everything will take on meaning soon everything will take on meaning soon and then what comes behind this is this card here hematite that says ground yourself ground yourself pisces take some time for deep cleansing breaths okay that way you can get all of those new and fresh ideas for what spirit wants you to do and how spirit wants you to do them. Because again, you're very imaginative. You're very creative. You put that energy out there. When you get, when you make up your mind to want to do something, it gets done. But right now, spirit wants you to relax. Calm your spirit. Do some deep cleansing breaths, Pisces. Yeah. When you do those deep cleansing breaths, it allows you to open up space to 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 clear the energy for you to see past your circumstances. Because there's too much going on up in here. So bring all of that under subjection. Bring all of that under submission. 
Allow yourself to breathe, focus in the moment, and know that you're worthy and you are deserving. All right. I want to thank you so much. That is your message, Pisces. If this resonated with you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. I thank you so much for being here. And again, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your spiritual journey. And until next week, I love you. Peace.